hello friends welcome to tutorials point in this tutorial we will see how we can use the attribute views in SAP HANA so in SAP HANA attribute views are used to model the characteristics they are used to join the dimension tables or the other attributes views so we can also copy a new attribute view from already existing attribute view inside the other packages but that doesn't let you change the view attributes so let's see how we can create the attribute views in SAP HANA studio so first of all let's see what are the different features of the attribute view attribute view in SAP HANA it will allow the joining of dimension tables and the other attribute views they are similar to the characteristics in VM and contain the master data so let's see how we can create the attribute views in SAP HANA Studio. So to create an SAP attribute view, we have to first go to the package. We have to right click it and then we can go to the new attribute view. So once we will click on, we have to enter the name here, then the label, then the package inside which we want to store it and then we have to define the view type and the subtype so first of all let's see if I give the name as test automatically it will take the label as test here so automatically it will take the package in which I have created this view and then we have the view type so if I go to the drop down I can create the analytic view I can create the attribute view I can create the calculation view after that we have this option of subtype so in the subtype we can create the view as a standard time or derived so the time subtype attribute view is a special type of attribute view that adds a time dimension to the data foundation when you enter the attribute name type and subtype and click on finish it will open the three work panes so here if let's say if I enter it as a standard so here we also have this option of copy from so this copy from option is used if you want to copy an existing attribute view and if you select this you can click on browse and you can choose the view which you want to copy from so but now we will just uncheck it and we'll click on the standard and we'll click on finish now I can see here that I have the option of semantic and then we have the option of data foundation here So first of all we have to enter the objects into my data foundation if I click on this plus sign here for adding the objects I can search for the objects here I can let's say if I search for the employee table so I have this employee dimension and I can see that now it is added to my data foundation so we have the employee ID and we have the employee name here similarly if we want we can add more objects into this and then we can join them So let's say if I click on this so here I can give another object let's say if I give the department and here I have the department number department ID department name if we want to create the join between the two tables we can simply select this and we can right click and click on create join once we click on create join it will ask for the right table and the left table so if I select this I will get that I have this employee ID and employee name and I have the department number ID and department name here however these two tables are not related but this is to just show an example so if we want to join we can simply select it and then we can drag it to the department number so here I have the join type as referential inner left outer right outer and the text join so depending upon the requirement we can specify the join type here and then we can validate the join and click on OK so this way we can add the objects to the attribute view and then we can create the joints between those so if you want to refer to the detailed tutorial of this you can refer to our SAP HANA development 
and there you can see the different views how we can create them in detail and what are the different properties of them now let's say if I want to close this and if I want to run any existing attribute view so I have these ex existing attribute views here if I go to the AT region and if I want to run this view I can click on the data preview once we click on the data preview it will open up the reporting panel which we, uh, here we can create the reports similar to the other reporting tools like we can add the region ID, region name, the subregion name and we can choose from these different options of charts we can see the data in the tabular form, grid form, HTML so this is how we can create the attribute views in SAP HANA and after that we can do the basic reporting using the SAP HANA Studio. Thank you.